Hey friends, welcome again to another session on gyms of geometry and uh, carrying on with our discussion. Uh, we are going to deal with some more special type of triangles and their properties. So in this session, we are going to look at medial triangle and its properties. So the first property which we are going to discuss is the medial triangle and the triangle both have the same centroid that means both the centroids coin coincide so that's interesting isn't it so let's first try and see uh it is is it actually happening and if it is happening then how do we generalize it that is how do we prove it so in this session we'll restrict only to demonstrating that in any given triangle the centroid of the given triangle coincides with the centroid of the medial triangle of the given triangle uh, it looks a little complicating but then no problem let's first try and you know achieve it so here is where i start so let's say this is first point second point and third point these are the three points three vertices and now i want to create a triangle out of it so this is the triangle and okay so this is a triangle now my next step is to find out the um, midpoints of all these three sides so let me just try to find that because uh, medial triangle as you know is nothing but the triangle formed by joining the midpoints of the three sides so let's say these are the three midpoints yeah, so you can see three midpoints E, F, and D. These are the three midpoints, and now I have to join them to form the medial triangle. Okay, so here is the medial triangle. And yeah, so this D, E, F is the medial triangle of the triangle A, B, C. Okay, so first let us try to find out the centroid of A, B, C. You know how to find out the centroid, so you'll just take any two median, let them intersect. And the point of intersection will be the centroid because we know that third median will anyways pass through the the cent, you know uh, the point of intersection of the two medians. So here is where I'm drawing. So this is the first median, second, and third. Okay. So let me just name the point. So this point is G centroid. Now. Uh, appearance wise does look like g is also the centroid of d e f okay so how do we prove that or how do we even demonstrate it here so if the medians the given medians are for example if you take a e is this one this one highlighted one this a sorry i'll just highlight the um median i'm talking about so let's say this one a e right a e is if you see cutting d h d h at you know this point so if this point happens to be the midpoint of d h then clearly uh this line here is also the median of triangle d e h f isn't it so let's see if this point this particular point is the midpoint or not so let me try to find the midpoint of d f so if i try so i'm selecting this uh segment d f let's see where the point comes so if you see it comes exactly where we were expecting so let me just you know zoom it a bit zoom this in so yeah, i'm sorry just undo it undo it yeah so if you see if i zoom zoom as much as possible if you want if you see this point is the midpoint through which the median ae of triangle abc is passing that means e h is also the median right similarly if i try to um, find the midpoint of ef let's say so i'm selecting this line ef and see the software has selected this point which is again you know the point through which cd is passing right so that means d and uh, whatever is this name i so di is also the median of def 
right? So that means G, this point G, which is the centroid of ABC, also happens to be the centroid of BEF. This is interesting observation. Okay, you can actually prove this very easily. You know, I'm just uh, giving you in words, but then we'll later on, you know, uh, try to prove it methodically. So we know from midpoint theorem that DE will be this DE here, this DE will be parallel to AC and will be half of it. Similarly, midpoint theorem says that EF will be parallel to BA and will be half of it. So that means you know, um, if you see BH is parallel to BE and EF is parallel to BD. So B, D, F, and E, this is forming a parallelogram, isn't it? Parallelogram. Now, if that means if E, B, D, E, F, B, D, F, A, F, E is a parallelogram, that means B, F, and D, E are the diagonals. And we know that diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. That means this point M, if I just, uh, you know, find out the midpoint. Yeah, so J. J happens to be the midpoint of both DE as well as BH. Correct? Midpoint of DE and BH. So hence, if you see, um, B J is equal to JE. And that means J is the midpoint of DE. That goes on to say that fj is the median of dfe similarly you'll see eh is the median and di is the median right and all these medians of def lie on the medians of the bigger triangle abc that means the point of concurrence of the th two sets of three medians is same which is g that's what this particular uh, session was uh, devoted to, you know, show you that um, the centroid of the triangle ABC as well as its medial triangle are the same.